Hello, my gorgeous Aquarians. This is Devs, and this, of course, is your reading for mid Feb 2024. Aqua, it's great to be with you. I hope you guys are well. Now, in my usual meditation, um, I saw someone very quietly leaving a massive group of people out the back door. This person ran across a field backing onto this building and motioned to someone that they were ready. And they actually came to a basket of an air balloon, a hot air balloon. They clambered in and they were really worried because there were a group of two or three people trying to untie the ropes so this hot air balloon could lift off. When this person turned around and looked back towards the building that they'd run from, there was this crowd of people running towards them, screaming and shouting, where are you going? You can't do this. You didn't tell us you were going. What's going on? We don't understand. And just as one person reached the basket of the hot air balloon, the hot air balloon just lifted off. And the person inside looked down and sort of raised their hands to heaven. I'm sorry, can't do anything about it. I'm taking off now. Uh, take care. And all the crowd of people could do that was standing on the ground was look up at this person heading higher and higher and higher up into the sky in this hot air balloon. So Aquarius, I don't know whether or not you are literally detaching from a situation. You may have been surrounded by drama, chaos, people trying to get at you, people trying to hang on to your coattails, people that had issues and problems, and maybe people that wanted you to sort them out. Yeah, Aqua, you're not dealing with us anymore. You're taking off in another direction. So whatever this is for you, Aqua, you could be leaving an awful job. You could be ending a turbulent relationship. You could be moving out of a very intense family dynamic. You could be thinking, yeah, it's time for me to leave home. I can't cope with mum and dad anymore because there are aunts and uncles and cousins and grandma and grandpa and I just can't cope. Whatever this is for you, Aqua, you are detaching and you're lifting off and moving in a different direction. That's what I'm getting. So guys, whoever this is for, let me know in the comments. <laughs> we will see. This is the Tarot de la Nuit. Okay, if you guys want a private reading, you know everything is listed down below. If you want to join the channel, the link is there too. I put out weekly videos every Sunday just for my members. And of course, all the decks are listed. Okay. By the way, just wanted you to know that I'm not on any form of social media at all except YouTube. Okay. Um, there are a couple of fake profiles on Facebook and Instagram. I've reported them. Please don't join those fake channels because the scammers take your profile details and pass them on to other scammers, you know? So please, 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 please be careful. All right, guys. All right, getting out of this serious energy now. Let's get into your reading. Archangel Michael, what have we got for my lovely Aquarians? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Mid-Feb 2024. Thank you, Michael. 2024. Thank you, Michael. Yes, Aqua, it's as if you just want peace and quiet. It's interesting. I'm now seeing a guy in an armchair. There are kids running around him. There's music playing in the background. His wife is on the phone having an argument with someone, but he's got these padded headphones on his head and he seems to be quietly listening to music. He's got his eyes closed. It's as if, I don't want to hear anything around me. I just want peace and quiet. I'm just going to move into my own little bubble. Yeah. Aqua, there's something here about you wanting just to detach. Yes. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Aquarius, you may be looking at the past. You may be looking at the happy times, the not so happy times, the memories. Maybe some difficult moments. You're also looking at your finances, Aquarius. Interesting. All right. The sun. Yes. 
you're looking at the past and you're thinking about what you want for the future. You could be thinking about where you're going to be landing next. Because I feel Aquarius, you're psychologically and emotionally sort of just lifted off from the chaos, from the drama. And you're wondering now where to land. You want to be happy. You want to be in a situation where you feel as if the work that you put in, you're going to see results from. So you may have worked really, really hard, but the results of your effort might have gone out to either other people. I'm, I'm now seeing somebody handing out banknotes to a lot of other people or Aquarius sunk into a property that's, that was too expensive. Whatever you had to fork out on Aquarius, whatever you had to manage, it didn't benefit you at all. At all. It's as if you're looking back thinking, well, I don't have a lot to show for all the work and effort I put in. I'm not having this anymore. So this is you wanting to lift off in a new direction. Now with the sun, you could be thinking of relocation. You may be in a property that's quite expensive and you're thinking, yeah, I don't need to be in a property this expensive. No, 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 no. What am I doing? I need to downsize. I'm sure I'd be happier somewhere a lot smaller. If you had dependence Aquarius that was sapping your energy that you didn't need to be taken care of. You were just doing it out of the kindness of your heart, right? This is you getting very strong with those around you. You're either telling people that they need to pull their weight. I can't carry all of you. I'm sorry. I don't think I need to. You need to sort of get off your backside and get a job. Or what you're doing is you are shaving off anything that has kept you stuck, anything that you feel has weighed you down. I'm now seeing somebody taking out of this hot air balloon basket a lot of junk, bags, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing bags of clothes, small bits of furniture. I'm seeing somebody holding something up out of this air balloon basket thinking, what the hell is that? I don't need that. No, chuck it. Aquarius, you're Lightening the load so you can lift off somehow. It could be emotional. It could be physical. You're deciding to forge your own path, Aquarius, and people don't like it. But I don't think you care anymore. I don't think you care anymore. In the past, the lovers. Aquarius, you may have had a choice to be with somebody else in the past. Interesting else came through. So you may have been in a long term relationship that you're now ending. You had a choice to be with somebody else in the past. Gemini energy. King of Cups. But Aquarius, you didn't go for this person, even though there were strong emotions, because you were weighed down in a specific situation. You might have expressed your feelings to this person, Aquarius, but it's as if I can't move. So... I'm going to have to leave it behind. So you may have left someone behind. Even though there was a very strong soul tie. What you're thinking about now, Queen of Cups. So Aquarius, you could be thinking about a Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. Or you could be simply hoping that wherever you decide to land, you're going to be emotionally fulfilled. I just want to be happy. I'm hearing, is it too much to ask? I just want to be happy. Okay. In the immediate future, King of Pentacles. Now, if you're a feminine, you may be thinking about a King of Pentacles. You may have had a choice, Aquarius, to be with a King of Cups or a King of Pentacles. You're now deciding to lift off and maybe go back to a King of Cups in the past. You may have had a dalliance with this person in the past. So you may be having a conversation with a partner who could be a King of Pentacles. I'm so sorry, this isn't working anymore. Um, We need to end this. 
If you're a masculine, you are sat in the King of Pentacles and what you're doing is you're saying to those people around you, look, I've helped you, I've given you advice, I've given you guidance, I've always been there to pick up the pieces, I've sorted out your problems, well I'm sorry I'm not doing it anymore. You're on your own. Move out and get a job. This could be you talking to your kids. If this is a codependent partner, you're saying, I'm sorry, but um, you're going to have to go out and get a job. You're either ending a relationship or you're sitting down with someone saying to them, look, you can't spend money like you used to. Times are tough now. You could, if you're a masculine, be talking to a codependent partner. You may be in your 50s or 60s and your codependent partner may still be spending money as if it was the 1980s. Oh no, things have changed now. You're getting tough, Aqua, male or female. You're getting tough. In your fears, three of pentacles. Aquarius, you are fearing that someone's going to try and hang on to you. You're fearing it. This almost shows someone hiding in a church, hoping that someone isn't going to run after them. Oh, just give me some peace. Just give me some peace. In the environment, Aquarius, page of wands. Now, Aqua, this could be you and your kids, right? You could be a single parent and your kids are demanding this and they're demanding that. And it's, oh, mom or oh, dad, can't we do this? Can't we do that? Everyone else has one, right? And this is you saying, no, I'm sorry. We just can't afford it. You're getting really strong with people. You could be a female aqua who is fed up with people wanting your time, your attention. And Aquarius, what you're thinking about is, I've got no time. I've got no time to mess around with this person. I'm trying to live a serious life. I'm trying to pay my bills. I'm trying to pay my rent. Right? I'm trying to clear debt. I've got no time to mess around with someone who seems to have all the time in the world. No. I've, I've got serious issues to sort out. You're getting strong with someone, Aqua. It's as if, don't mess with me. I'm not playing anymore. You've got your serious hat on, Aqua. And you're lifting off in a direction where you don't have to cope with other people's issues, other people's drama. You're fed up with it. For some of you, you could even be changing your telephone number. It may well be that various companies have got hold of your telephone number and you're having to cope with a lot of scam calls and you're sick of it. You could be detaching from various forms of social media. You're almost of the energy of, please just leave me alone. Please just leave me alone. No, I'm not helping you. No, I'm not giving to that. No, I'm sorry. I don't want to purchase that from you. Why should I? Where the hell did you get my number from? Yes, Aqua, you are detaching. Totally. Because you're trying to find your peace and your happiness. In your hopes, Page of Swords. Aquarius, this is you hoping that if you speak your peace, if you tell the truth, people won't be hurt, people won't be insulted, people won't feel rejected. You don't want other people to feel as if you're just being unpleasant or you're just being selfish. You are not. But I feel that whoever you're dealing with, Aqua, has taken you for granted for long enough. Or you have played nice long enough. Oh, well, OK. If you need help from me, then yeah, sure, I'll be there. Even though it might have been to your detriment. Or someone that came to you and said, oh, Aqua, do you have a couple of hundred dollars on you, a couple of hundred euros on you? I, I actually just need a little bit of extra cash this month. And this is you thinking, yeah, sure. OK, no problem. This is your boss saying to you, Aquarius, you know, nobody really wants to stay late in the office, but we've got to get this project done. I'm sure you don't mind. You know, do you mind doing it for us? And this is you previously saying, yeah, sure. Now you're saying, no, I'm sorry. It's eating into my private life. I I'm sorry. I, I can't do that. I promised I'd take my girlfriend away or I promised I'd take my boyfriend out tonight. You know, whatever this is for you, Aqua, you are putting up really strong boundaries and you are simply saying no. No. But I feel that whoever you are, 
you are definitely detaching and heading somewhere else. For many of you, you might be moving, moving out of somewhere you're living, ending a relationship, ending a job. You could be whittling everything down, taking things out of the hot air balloon basket, right? I don't need this. I don't need that. Why have I still got that yet? Yeah, no, that can go. You're getting very serious with yourself because you're preparing for a completely different life. The outcome, okay, ten of wands. Aquarius, there's going to be a specific time where the guilt will weigh you down. If this is you having to get strong with your kids, you know, I'm sorry, you can't live at home anymore. No, there's no point in us scrimping and saving to afford a three bedroom house just because you need somewhere to stay because you can't get a job. Get a job. Everybody else does. Jobs are out there. And we're not having you kipping on the couch anymore. No. Or you could be saying to your kids, you know what, I'm going to move to a different place. You kids can have the house, but you have to pay me rent. You're getting really strong, Aqua. You're getting really strong. But there is going to be a sense of the Ten of Wands of, oh, I really hope that people don't hate me for this. I really hope that people can see my point of view, understand that I'm stressed and wound up and I've got enough on my plate. I can't deal with other people's drama and issues anymore. You hope that people understand. They may be very surprised, Aqua. They may be very surprised. Oh, you always used to do that. You always used to give me a lump sum of money every month. You always used to pay half my rent for me. Yeah, no, Aquarius, you're not doing it anymore. Because you're realising that you're exhausted, you're depleted, and you're looking at maybe seven years of work, realising that you don't actually have very much to show for it. Because you've helped out other people. You've carried other people. Clarification for you guys. I'm feeling very emotional for someone here. Knight of Swords. Yes. Aqua, you're afraid that if you don't detach peacefully, having spoken your truth, you're literally going to lose it. There's going to be an almighty row and you're going to say or do something you're going to regret. You're holding your tongue. You're taking a deep breath and you're trying to be calm. But you know that if you stay in a situation any longer, it's going to be a disaster. It's as if I'm on edge right now. You don't know how much I'm on edge. If you push me, I'm going to do something that you're really not going to like. OK. Don't test me is the energy. Yes. Aquarius, if you have been in a long-term relationship, you may be having to sit down with your partner, male or female, and you may be saying to them, look, I'm sorry, um, you need to find a way of bringing money into the household. I can't carry us both anymore. Times are changing. And you may be sitting there with a wife or a husband who's looking a bit disenchanted. Oh, I don't really want to get a job. Oh, well, you know, maybe we'll just pull in our expenses. No, Aqua, you're getting really serious. You're saying, no, I'm sorry, you need to get a job. You need to get a job. If you're dealing with kids, you're sitting your kids down and saying to your kids, I'm sorry, but you can't live here anymore. We need to rent out the rooms. We're going to try and bring some lodges in because we need to make some more money. You can stay here, but you guys need to get jobs. You know, it's that sort of thing. If this is you, Aquarius, simply dealing with a very heavy workload and maybe you've had debt to clear and you may feel that it's sort of two steps forward and one step back, two steps forward, one step back. You're trying to figure out a way for you to live a better quality of life that is actually less expensive. You could be deciding to move from a busy city out into the countryside. You're trying to figure out how to lighten the load. Whoever is that in the page of wands who seems to be sort of fighting against you, this could be a message of anger. No, why are you doing this? We don't think this is a good idea. Strength card. Leo energy. The world. 
Yes, they're trying to hold you back from closing out a cycle. They don't want you to close out a cycle because somehow it benefits them. Somehow it benefits them. Underneath the deck. Yeah, justice. Okay. Aquarius, Libra energy. You may be wanting to change your job. You may be wanting to leave a nine to five and open a business. You know, you're going to have to save money. It might be this is you deciding to divorce a partner. And they're not going to like it because maybe they've been codependent on you financially and they're stressing out. Magician. You are manifesting, pulling back and doing some serious thinking about your future. You could be thinking about a Virgo, strong Virgo and also Scorpio, Gemini with a magician. But I think this is you holding yourself up. You may even be moving out of living with someone and you may be spending a week on your own you may be doing a b and b just for a week this is you doing some serious thinking about what you want for the future not what other people want but about what you want it's way past time temperance you know that you've been coasting for way too long you may have been very unhappy in the situation you've been in. It could be in a job. It could be in a relationship. You're trying to figure out a way of having a happy, peaceful life with no drama without it costing a fortune. I feel that's what you're trying to achieve. There is, though, going to be a feeling of guilt with the Ten of Wands. People are suddenly going to realise what you're doing and they're going to be racing after you as you lift off. No, don't go, Aquarius. We'll change. You know, I'll do this, I'll do that. No, Aqua, it's too late now. You've made up your mind. You're going. You're going. So for many of you, it's not a question of saying to whoever's around you, you need to pull your socks up because I'm not doing this anymore. I think what this is, Aqua, is you actually leaving leaving a situation and you may also be leaving a lot of open mouths behind as well you're doing what you're going next week uh i didn't know well yeah i think that's um partly what you wanted to achieve aquarius you may have been planning this for months you may have thought to yourself yeah it's going to be a little bit of a shock for those people around me when i say i'm sorry i'm going but I would have done all the preparation work previously. So um, I'm already organised. So if you're leaving a partner, you've already got a rental flat that you may have put a deposit on. If this is you leaving a job, you've already got another job to go to in another area. If you find yourself in a property that's too expensive, Aquarius, this is you not saying anything. But you may already have somewhere smaller and much less expensive to move into. And this is you giving your landlord a month's notice. They may be spluttering on the end of the phone. Oh, well, we, we can uh, do something about the rent. You know, we can lower the rent a little bit. Or, well, um, it's a little bit of a shock that you're leaving. Uh, OK, well, you've given us a month's notice. All right. They don't like it because they're going to have to find another tenant. That may be a problem if you're paying expensive rent. You may feel as if you're paying over the amount that you should. But you're just going. You're already organised to go. So Aquarius, you are lifting up and out of a tricky situation because Aquarius, you want to find your own place of peace, calm and tranquility in this crazy world is what I'm getting. You may even be living somewhere incredibly noisy and you just can't deal with it anymore. But somehow this detaching affects those around you, parents, kids, a partner, your boss. And they don't like it. So you're going to get pushback, which is going to make you feel, well, have I really done the right thing? Yes, you have, Aqua. Don't look back. You may have realised you needed to cut the cord, symbolically, for a long time. You've been reticent to do it because you knew that it would affect other people. But this is you realising that you're not getting any younger and you need to start living for you now. Not other people. All right, Aqua. 
So Archangel Michael, why is Aquarius sat in the Seven of Pentacles and the Sun? Wow, the Sun and the Moon. Fearful of going for your happiness, Aqua. Or you become enlightened that those people that you tried to help, those people that you gave your time and attention to, weren't being honest with you. This is you maybe coping with a codependent partner only to find out that they've been cheating on you and you can't believe it. This is you working overtime in your job for the last five years only to figure out that your boss is thinking of ending your contract. It's as if, and that's the thanks I get, you know? You're keeping all this to yourself though, Aquarius. High Priestess. You're keeping something under wraps, but you feel as if you have to because you know that all hell's going to break loose when you come out with the truth. The Chariot. So we've got strong Cancerian energy, strong Pisces energy here, Aqua, and Leo with the Sun. The sun is you wanting to be happy, wanting to move, wanting to progress, wanting to be somewhere else. The moon is you keeping it under wraps and the chariot is you preparing to leave. Yes, because what you've realised, Aquarius, is you have found yourself in a very toxic situation. It could be an awful relationship. It could be that you're exhausted from work and people are just taking, taking, taking from you. There's no thanks. There's no support. There's no appreciation. It's just drama. And you've had enough. You've had enough of giving. You can't give anymore. You need a little bit back sometimes, you know. Queen of Swords. So Aquarius, if you're a feminine, this is you. If you're a masculine, um, I'm going to pick up this card and show you. You may be dealing with a partner who wanted everything their own way. She could be very beautiful, but she may also have been cheating on you and she may have been codependent. And this is you seeing it suddenly. Wow. I put you on a pedestal for so long and now I see who you really are. What happened with the lovers in the past? Aquarius, you met someone in the past. And with the Ace of Cups, they were everything you ever wanted. Yes, Aquarius. And I think you went for it with the energy of the Fool. Because this person made you happy. But I feel, Aqua, you pulled back. You did the right thing. Even though you were in love with this person, you did the right thing because you felt you needed to. You wanted to be loyal to your partner. You felt that this wasn't a good thing for you to do. Yeah, but it was tough. If you're a masculine, this is the Queen of Wands. Very sexy, very attractive, but you did the right thing. You might have gone back to your wife, okay? You may have put this person in the friend zone or you may have said to this person, look, you're very sexy, you're very attractive. I'm sorry, I can't do this. I'm married, you know. But it was very difficult, Aquarius, if that was the case because you fell in love with this person. Now, Aquarius, you could be a woman in a horrible relationship. You may have been financially supporting a husband. OK. And this is you thinking, wow, I had an opportunity of being with somebody in the past that I fell in love with, but I didn't. I remained loyal to my husband and now I'm wondering why I did it. You may have just found out your husband was cheating on you. What happened with the King of Cups? Page of Cups. Whether you're male or female Aquarius, you had to apologise to the person that you walked away from. This was a lover or a potent this is a potential lover in the past because you tried to do the right thing. You wanted to do the right thing. You wanted to do the right thing, Aquarius. 
even though with the Five of Pentacles you knew that you'd miss this person, you did the right thing. But with the Five of Wands, there was always that internal conflict. There was always that internal conflict. Did I really do the right thing in pushing that person away because they were my happiness and I know I wasn't happy in my relationship? Aquarius, what you're looking at is the Queen of Cups. You just want to be emotionally fulfilled or Aquarius, you could be thinking about a Queen of Cups, maybe a Pisces or a Cancerian. Eight of Cups. Aquarius, you're walking away from someone. You're walking away from someone to be with someone else, Aquarius. Four of Wands. Wow. Yes. You may be thinking about a property. You may be thinking, wow, you know, if I divorce, I'm going to lose a property. You may be wanting to speak to somebody about living together. How are you feeling, Aqua? Nine of Wands, you, you just can't be in the situation you're in anymore. I'm getting an exhausted energy. You just can't do this anymore. It's too heavy. It's too much. You have tried, tried to act with integrity, tried to do the right thing, tried to behave in the way that you should you felt very proud of yourself up until this point of time because it hasn't been easy, but you cannot do this any longer. You just have to go, is, is what I'm getting. You just have to go. So in the immediate future, guys, we have the King of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Now, if you're a female, you may have had to cope with Someone leaning on you financially. You could have helped this guy out if this is your husband or someone you live with financially. You may have cleared their debt for them. You may have helped them get a job. This is someone that you have done your best to sort of lift up. They are now sitting very happily in the King of Pentacles thanks to you. But they may have been messaging somebody else and cheating on you. And this is you finding that out. And this is you ending that relationship. Maybe going back to a King of Cups that you met in the past. If you're a masculine Aquarius, what you're thinking about is I should be sat in the Ten of Pentacles, but I'm not. I've scraped together the Seven of Pentacles, even though I've worked my butt off because I've been coping with a codependent partner. I just don't want to do it anymore. And you may be facing this codependent partner and saying to them, you know, I've given you everything you've ever wanted. I've given you an amazing life. And I found out that you've been cheating on me. So I'm sorry, this is done. And this is someone who's angry. They're hanging on to this relationship. They're holding back from accepting an ending. And it could be a short, sharp wake up call for this person that they are losing you. And I don't think they can change your mind, Aquarius, even though you may feel burdened. Because I feel that emotionally you've already left the building. You're out the front door already. It's just a question of having the conversation. What's the King of Pentacles for Aqua? Yeah. Aquarius, male or female, you are in a codependent relationship with someone who you know painfully doesn't love you. This is just financial. Four of Swords. And I think you've been in this unhappy relationship for a long time. You've been watching time tick on, time tick on, and nothing's changed. If this person started off being codependent on you, they are still codependent on you. They've just expected to sit in that situation with you ongoing. You may have hoped that one day they'd sort of realise that you couldn't do everything on your own and say to you, should I get a job? But they haven't. If anything, they've demanded more and more. And you may have found out that with a page of ones, they've been passionately messaging somebody else. So it's as if, oh my goodness, I can't believe it. 
<laughs> You're suddenly getting the wake-up call that you need to get rid of this person. Aquarius. Yeah. Seven of Cups. You have done everything to make your person happy. Literally. And what you're realising is they've gone behind your back and they've done something unforgivable. They've totally disrespected you. What are you saying to this person, Aqua? Yeah, Six of Swords. Aquarius, this is the very straight conversation. This is you sitting down with this person, having got everything organised behind the scenes, right? Your hot air balloon is ready. You've got people on standby to release the ropes. You've got everything packed, right? This is you saying to this person, I feel it's time to have a serious conversation. I don't think this has been working for a long time. I found out X, Y, Z, right? And this is done. You're very calm. There are no histrionics. There's no drama. This is not a slanging match. What you're saying to this person is the truth. And this is someone who is angry because they know they've been found out. What are you saying to this person? Eight of Pentacles. You may be saying to this person, Aquarius, I've put so much time, energy and effort into this relationship with you. I've provided for you. I've given you everything you ever wanted. And I'm sorry, I can't do it anymore. I've worked my butt off for you to make you happy, to make you feel secure. To be a responsible, stable partner. And you've just taken full advantage of that. What you're saying is, I'm not doing it anymore. I can't do it anymore. Knight of Pentacles. Aquarius, what you're saying to this person is, look, I'm going to give you a final lump sum of money and that will be it. You're going to have to move out of the house. We're going to sell the property. You may have to get a job. You're just being totally honest with this person. What else are you saying, Aquarius? Ace of Swords. It is done. I'm hearing, I don't care what you say. I'm not going to change my mind. This is over. What is this person going to say? They're angry. They know they're being found out. Yeah. They're going to be incredibly defensive. This is someone who's going to say, I'm sorry, I don't agree with this. I'm sorry, I'm not moving out of the house. I'm not allowing you to divorce me. I'm not allowing you to leave me. No, I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. What is this person saying? The death card, I will change. I will do everything I can to be a better wife, a better husband. You know, I'll sort my life out. I could, I can change. What else is this person saying? Two of Wands. Aquarius, they're going to try and force you to think about what you're doing. Well, look, let's not make any hard and fast decisions. Let's just stand at crossroads. If you can give me some time, I will change. I will do all I can to put more effort into the relationship. I'll, I'll get a job. You know, this is someone who's scrambling. What is going on deep down? What is this person thinking about quietly? Okay. First of all, Aquarius, they're worried because you may have been helping them out financially. And this is someone who is terrified of losing you because they're going to lose their financial security this may be a partner who simply doesn't want to work or what they're quietly thinking or what they're quietly thinking about Aquarius is oh my god Aquarius has realized I was juggling them with somebody else at a distance what else is this person worried about maybe losing a house you may have covered mortgage payments Aquarius for the last 10 20 years this is someone who's afraid of being booted out of their home. But again, this is someone who's been codependent. They're clutching hold of those four pentacles. They are not wanting to let you go. But Aquarius, where is the love? This is all financial. Maybe that's why you feel you should let go of this person. What have they been hiding from you? Okay, they have been unfaithful, knight of wands. 
male or female, they've definitely been unfaithful. Seven of Swords, seriously, Knight of Wands, Seven of Swords, they have been unfaithful. They've, be, they've also been deceptive, possibly manipulative. What have they been thinking about? The Tower. It's a shock. It's, oh my goodness. This is karma, Aquarius. What is the energy between the two of you? The hangman. What your person is doing is they are now seeing that they couldn't pull the wool over your eyes. They couldn't take you for a fool. They're seeing things from a different perspective. They're seeing things from your point of view, Aquarius. And this is someone sat in fear. Because this is you ending a relationship. This is not you discussing whether or not changes could be made. You are simply calmly saying to this person, it's over. It's just over. Because you, Aquarius, are now seeing the bigger picture. You simply want to be happy. And you have been dealing with someone who's been selfish, self-orientated, codependent, somebody who may have played the victim, somebody who may have made you a thousand promises, Aquarius, over the last few years, none of which they've kept. And this is you suddenly seeing who this person is, sadly. So Aquarius, Ten of Wands. This is you feeling, have I done the right thing? It could be this person turns on the tears. It could be this person says to you, well, what am I going to do without your money coming in because I haven't got a job? There is going to be a sense of you feeling not exactly guilty because you've got nothing to feel guilty about, but you're a nice person, Aquarius. You may think to yourself, yeah, it's going to be tough on this person because they're not going to have me around anymore. But you also know that you've been taken advantage of and you're not having that. So there is a sense of, I can't believe this is done, but you are accepting that and you are detaching from the situation because you simply need your peace. But there is going to be heaviness just before you lift off. The heaviness, Aqua, is you turning around and seeing all those people rushing towards you saying, what are you doing? Where are you going? You can't do this. Um, Yeah, you're going to be lifting off, Aqua. You may only feel it for a very short period of time. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm really doing this, Ten of Wands. But you can't carry the Ten of Wands for very long. Three of Wands, yes. Aquarius, you are waiting for your ships to come in with someone else or in another area. You could be simply detaching from a relationship, thinking about somebody you met in the past, but deciding to be single for a period of time. You are detaching from the world, okay? The hermit, temperance. You just want to get out of the drama to settle your mind and to decide what you want to do. Judgment. You are making a life-changing decision to put an end to a draining situation that hasn't brought you happiness or peace or tranquility. You haven't been supported, Aquarius. It's drained you. And this is you knowing that. What are you going to be thinking about? Six of Pentacles, yeah. How much you've given to the situation, how much they've taken from you. But this is also you wanting a much more equal give and take relationship. If you've been supporting your partner, male or female, this is you thinking, I am never going to get myself in that situation again where I have to financially support a partner. I just can't do it. It's too much. You may be looking for a partner in the future who's going to pull their weight, who's also going to be pulling in the money, you know. What's going to happen here? Okay, King of Swords. So Aquarius, male or female, you're taking charge. You may be going to see um, someone relating to a court case. It could be child support. It could be to discuss a divorce. You're seeking legal advice. 
Yes. And there's going to be a lot of communication with someone who is going to help you legally get out of the situation. Whether it's a living together situation, whether or not you want to take control of a property that your ex-partner is living in, whether or not this is child support, you're speaking to a lawyer. Eight of Swords. Aquarius, you are in your head. I mean, this is you sometimes slipping into, am I really doing the right thing? Is this really something that I want to take control of? But then I believe you wake up the next morning and think, absolutely, I just couldn't be in that situation anymore. Okay, anything else? Ten of Pentacles. Aquarius, there may be a period of time where you think, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to give my partner half of the assets. Oh my gosh, right? But what you're thinking about is, because I believe you've been dealing with a codependent partner who has not worked, what you're thinking about is that you're actually going to be saving money in the future because you are not going to have to give your partner money every month in terms of living expenses. Because I don't think you were living with somebody who was working. And what you're thinking about is, all right, I'm going to be losing money in, say, a divorce or I'm going to giving or I'm going to be giving this person child support, but I won't have to give them the amount of money that I used to whilst we were together. It's going to be much less. So you're going to be recouping your money. And whatever you work for, Aquarius, whatever you make financially is not going to be shelled out to anyone else. You are going to be able to keep that money. Anything else for Aquarius? Two of Swords. There may be a very difficult final conversation. It might be your person gets very angry. It might be your person causes you problems legally. And you may have to get tough. You may have to be assertive. And I feel that when this is said and done, even though it may be heartbreaking, you may decide just to cut communication from this person. Yeah, because with the Nine of Cups, this person was simply overindulgent. They were simply overindulgent, male or female. They got you over a barrel, Aquarius, and you're seeing it now. Any final cards for Aqua, Michael? The Star. Beautiful. Aquarius, we end with your card of the Star. This is not only healing, but you are going to create your own beautiful little life where you are going to be incredibly happy. You may be returning to somebody from the past that you fell for, but I don't feel that will be for a few months. This is you getting yourself sorted out. This is you enjoying maybe a brand new environment. You could be moving areas. You could be moving into a little property that is just yours. There's going to be peace and calm. And I feel you may be concentrating on your career, Aquarius, right? Getting your head down, working and recouping the money and concentrating on your own stability, Aqua. Yeah. So, guys, I am leaving the reading there. I hope it's helped someone. Let me know in the comments. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way. And I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. See you soon, Aqua. Bye now.